If you need to export your data into a file that's viewable or readable in another database, well, typically if you can export it into a text file, other databases should be able to handle that. So for example, I've got my total sold query, my top uh, best-selling books here, the top five, and they're total sold, so I have two fields. When I export that into a text file, I need to choose a delimiter or a special character that separates that field from that field. So it doesn't run it together, because if you do, then the other person who gets that text file opens it up in their database, well, it's going to be all crammed together and they won't be able to understand, well, let's see, is this the book title here in the total sold or is that part of the book title? In any case, to get started, let's go ahead and close out. Select the query or the table that you want to export the data therein. I've got it selected here. Come up here, click on the external data tab, go to the export group, click on the text file button, and then right here it says I'm going to go ahead and save it on the desktop or into the desktop folder, and here's the name of it. So you're looking at that last backward slash there. What comes after it is the name of the file. What comes before it is going to be the final destination, the folder, the desktop. If you don't like that, click on Browse, and then go ahead and pick a folder or select your desktop over in the navigation pane here, then come over here in the main view and then double click and save it to one of those folders there. I'm going to click Cancel. I'm going to export it to my desktop, and then the name is fine. You can see the name is based upon the uh, file that I'm exporting. Same name, Q Select. QSEL or query select total sold. There it is. Q select total sold. And then as a contrast between what we're exporting here and what we did in the previous training video, I'm not going to export this with formatting and layout. And you especially don't want to do that when it comes to handing uh, this data file off to somebody else with another database because databases don't get along, especially with formatting. You just want to give them the raw data. Nothing fancy, no extra coding, no formatting. Just leave it stripped down to just raw data, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. It opens it up. It says, OK, you've got these fields. How do you want to go ahead and separate them? What delimiter do you want to use? Or do you want to use fixed width? I'm going to go ahead and use a delimited a special character and click Next. And then by default, it selects comma. If you look down the preview window, it's got the uh, field here, comma, then the next field, field there, comma, the next field, OK? So it's separating the two fields, the book title and the uh, quantity sold. And then don't forget, that in Access we had column labels or column headers, so you want to check include field names on the first row. When you check that, they can tell what they're looking at down below. Book title, these are the book titles. It says some of the books sold. The name of the field is actually book sold, but because we added a totals row in that query, to sum up all the books that have sold, not just, well, one company you purchased uh, this book one day, a couple of books, then the next day a couple more books, it added up all the numbers for this one book here that one or more clients have purchased. So it's the sum of the books sold for that book, this book, that book, and so on. In any case, let's go ahead and click Next. And then when we're done, it says it wants to dump it onto our desktop with this name here. And then it's got .txt, the extension, meaning it's going to be a text file. If you want to learn more about extensions, you want to watch my uh, Windows 7 training video on extensions. And then click Finish. Then it says you want to save your export steps. I won't save them. Let's click Close. Minimize this down to the taskbar, and there's my exported uh, text file. Double click to open it up. For my data, we've got the uh, column labels here, column headers, book title, some of the books sold, and then we have the corresponding data below those uh, column labels, book titles, and then some of books sold. It's not evenly aligned up, but the other database will be able to go ahead and break them apart with that delimiter, the comma here, separating the two, comma there, separating the two, and so on. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.